Jeremy Renner breaks down during first interview since snowplow accident. Oh no. I heard that you had in sign language you said to your family, I'm sorry. I heard that you had in sign language you said to your family, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Jeremy Renner breaks down in tears during his first interview since the January 1st snowplow accident that nearly took his life. I really couldn't be more fortunate. In a sneak peek at the actor's sit down with ABC News' Diane Sawyer, airing Thursday, April 6th, Jeremy and his family open up about the moment he was run over by a seven ton snowplow on New Year's Day in an attempt to save his nephew's life. I just perfectly see him in a pool of blood coming from his head. When I ran up to him, you know, I didn't think he was alive. <sighs> I'd do it again. You'd do it again? Yeah, I'd do it again. Because it's going right at my nephew. Someone's been run over by a snowcat. Hurry. He's been crushed. Okay, we have... Send paramedics to ambulance. Everyone's on the way right now. Listen to me. We yeah. might want to get a life flight out here immediately. The accident left him in critical condition with 30 plus broken bones. Do you remember the pain? Oh, all of it. Yeah, I was awake through every moment. Jeremy also had to undergo surgery for blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. Eight ribs broken in 14 places. Yeah. Right knee, right ankle broken, left leg tibia broken, the left ankle broken, right clavicle broken, right shoulder broken, face eye socket, the jaw, the mandible broken, lung collapsed, mm -hmm. pierced from the rib bone, your liver, mm -hmm. which sounds terrifying. Yeah. And they're like, what's my body look like? Am I just going to be like a spine in a in a brain, like a science experiment. I had the chance to chat with Yeah, him. no, been in touch with him, reached out to him, he's doing good, I believe. And oh yeah, all prayers are with him, yeah. Since the accident, Jeremy's friends and co-stars have shared updates with E.T. I talked to him yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's doing all right. He's doing he's doing well. He's the best, best guy, and, you know. Um, he's awesome. He is a force of nature, he's unstoppable, and I just am so relieved that he's on the comeback trail. And Jeremy, he's shared some updates too, and kept his sense of humor. He's so sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, oh. Literally, look at all the blood. That was the first shower. I was definitely weak or so. <laughs> Gross. The A-lister posted that video with his mom and sister just days after the whole thing went down. I've lost a lot of flesh and bone in this experience, but I've been refueled and refilled with love and titanium. And he gets emotional talking about his family's support. I heard that you had, in sign language, you said to your family, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But the actor is staying strong, telling fans he'll do whatever it takes to recover physically and mentally. I chose to survive. You could have killed me. No way. And it's that mindset that's helping Jeremy with his recovery. You look in the mirror and do you see the same face? No, I, I see a lucky man. A lucky man. Indeed, he is a lucky man. Like, he survived it all and he still looks the same. Like, thank God not a lot of injuries were on his face because his face is so important as an actor you know like it's a big part of who he is um of his profession and he still has opportunities to work maybe maybe not in real like tough action sequence movies but more like drama movies and stuff that are less uh tedious on their on his body i feel like but who knows maybe he actually makes a full recovery and comes back as hawkeye again um yeah it is so it's so sad and the fact that he would do it all over again to save someone's life this guy is a hero he is a real life hero makes me want to cry ah so so awesome he's so awesome he after this he's like one of my favorites honestly after seeing this but it's such an unfortunate accident that happened Oh my god, that's so weird. Did I miss you before? You were. Oh my god, actually, the reaction. Don't worry, don't worry.